Welcome back to the Business Spotlight. I'm Patrick Dewar. Today we're doing a very special, different kind of show that uh, you can call it a pilot. But the idea is that we're relaunching the Business Spotlight with additional resources, is what I would call them. Uh, I introduced you to Luis Estrada in the last segment of the show, and, and there are four different segments to this show. And what you'll see is that we're trying to bring more value for being a guest on the show. My, my guest in this segment, we're going to be talking with Mark Hardy. Mark is the CEO of Main Topic Media. He's been in the media industry for 25 years-ish and has worked on everything from having his, uh, working for a major uh, PR firm all the way to having his own. And really what's been uh, exciting is to see him create on the, uh, his 30-minute PR.com site a so, uh, training for PR that's the largest library of video on the internet today. So I'm really excited to have Mark Hardy on the show. Thanks. I'm really glad to be here. Well, we have done a show before. We have. So we, this is old hat for you. But the reason why I wanted Mark on the show is because as a PR specialist, every show will get a lot of press um, interest, a lot of you're going to shine them, aren't you? Absolutely. I mean, one of the things that I think people um, are a little bit surprised by about, you know, they have their own idea on what PR is. And yet today, um, you know, I like to use the term digital PR. And uh, there are so many ways to get your message out outside of what you traditionally think of. Right. Well, I know that one of the things that uh, I was, that, one of the things that I noticed a couple of years ago, and this is why we do so much more with the show today, is because I noticed that our children and really this generation is watching its TV on the internet. So the TV over the airways is great, but why not make it permanent? Let their 15 minutes of fame stay. With the press release and the, pr the, the promotions that you use, what happens with a show now? Well, um Say we're doing a press release for this particular show. Um, we can embed a, 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 an excerpt of the video actually into the press release. And I've got a, um, a, a chart, a graph that shows that I think people think of press releases as you know this, text. And what that chart shows is, is that you add multimedia elements. So you add an image, you add video, you add um, uh, downloadable files, you add social media integration, now you're going from a uh, press release being viewed you know, a certain number of times to 10 times the number of views. 10 times. So we've got the, the view, uh, the thing going right now. Um, what do you call that? Picture of what you're talking about? Yeah, that's what basically that is. That is a growth pattern of, and it, might be a little bit hard to see. The bottom is a text-only press release. And what, it, what it's showing is, is you add other visual elements, whether it's an image, uh, an attachment, a document. You can attach files to press releases now. A video, we mentioned you can embed a video, uh, that the a number of views increases. So what does that mean? It means you're reaching a, a greater audience. And the more people that see your release, obviously the more likely they are to act on that message. Excellent, excellent. Well, I know that, that when we, we talk about this next year, 2013, all of us brought some predict predictions on what we figured would be integrated into this year. You had some really excellent ones on the ways that PR was going to help. We've got about three minutes, so tell us your predictions. Okay, well, we've already talked about prediction one. Prediction one is visual PR. You know, think about PR visually. And there's an important reason for that is because we're overwhelmed by information and people I think the majority, I think it's like maybe 60% of, of people prefer to process information visually. You know, I mean, it's a reason that they say a picture is worth a thousand words. So wherever you can, add that visual element to a press release. That's, that's, uh, and so that's going to continue to increase. That's prediction number one. Prediction number two, have you ever heard of the term newsjacking? I have, but 
I don't know if all, every, our audience has. So what's newsjacking? Okay, a newsjack uh, or newsjacking is where you insert your message or your story into something that is trending, a current event. Um, and uh, can I give you a quick example? Please. Um, uh, I don't know, it was maybe a couple years ago, there was a story, it, was, it had captivated the media for days and days and days on end about minors trapped. Oh yeah. And, and, it, you know, and, and it had a happy, happy ending. They were rescued. Well, uh, Oakley, a sunglass, ma sunglass manufacturer, provided sunglasses <laughs> for all the minors. Now, what a, what a, you know, it's a happy ending and then a happy ending to the happy ending. So it was just a nice way to, you know, they, they came off as a good corporate citizen. And um, that's a, a, an example of a good news jacking. But it, it is kind of a high risk, high reward strategy. You don't want to insert something that's going to backfire. Yeah, I know that as we go into the, the, the next segments and as we go into the next few versions of or uh, shows, you're going to learn more about what I'll call Mark's thunders and blunders in regard to the client. When we look at the business spotlight, it's here to help you grow your business. We'll be right back.